Marky also posts on LinkedIn uh, 12 methods to combat anxiety daily. Can you share some of these points and how can job seekers use them, especially when they're applying for their jobs and you know that there's anxiety or they're waiting, how can they use some of those points? Yeah, so, so you know, you know, job seeker is someone who um, maybe doesn't have a job, maybe has a job, um, and then the same thing relating to entrepreneurs, really anything, wanting to do anything meaningful, there's always going to be a level of uncertainty. There's always going to be a level of you not having solid ground. Um, and so especially when you're applying to jobs and stuff, for sure. I remember in my life, not necessarily applying to jobs, but in other times that I still experience today of uncertainty, mm -hmm. that can definitely increase your likelihood of becoming anxious. And so, you know, what I would say is you should focus on what you can control, mm -hmm. right? And so a lot of job seekers will be like, man, I, I sent this resume over to this recruiter, but he hasn't responded back to me, or I don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of stuff like other people's behavior that you can't control. And so what I would say is, if you are in any spot in your life where you're not certain, where you're not in control, mm -hmm. you have to find ways to create certainty and to create control in your life. Mm -hmm. So what I mean is, you know, remember when I was at my version of rock bottom, when I was overweight and I was anxious and I was depressed, you know, what I started to do was, you know, I couldn't control really my day, but I could control um, you know, what time I woke up, I could control, uh, if I, if I, you know, did healthy self-care habits in the first hour of the day, like meditation, uh, journaling, breathing exercises, reading all things that have been shown to decrease anxiety. And so whenever you're in a, a time in your life where there is like, you don't know what's happening it's super important to focus on creating your own version of control and of certainty. And that can be done just by doing the things that you know you can mm -hmm. do and you can control in. And so if you can do that, a lot of the times what happens is when you're in the middle of the day and let's say you're working, you're trying to apply to jobs or you're, you're seeking a job. A lot of the times you might have a, uh, a renewed sense or feeling of control and of sort of certainty in your life because you focused on what you could control on the beginning of the day. And when you roll into your work day with that feeling, I guarantee you, you're going to take way more shots than you normally would. I guarantee you, you're going to send out way more resumes than you normally would because you have that feeling of uncertainty and you're not super anxious. Yes. Um, you know, other than that, uh, you know, I'm a big believer in, uh, in biochemistry yeah. in terms of anxiety. Uh, you know, so for a lot of people, for example, uh, let's say, you know, they'll wake up in the morning and they'll be super tired. And so what they'll do <sighs> is they'll drink a cup of coffee or something. And then they'll drink another cup of coffee and then they'll drink another cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you know, you may feel focused. Yeah. But, you know, you've drinking like four cups of coffee and I don't have anything wrong against coffee. I think coffee can be uh, healthy for you. But if you're, you know, abusing something, four cups of something, that's definitely too much unless it's water or something. Mm -hmm. And so that can create anxiety way more. You know, let's say you wake up and, you know, you're nervous or something. And so, uh, you know, a lot of people, their coping mechanisms for emotional responses is food. You're upset, you go eat something. You're bored, you go eat something. You're nervous, you go eat something. And this is, this is who I used to be too. And so you wake up in the morning and you, know, you eat like, I don't know, some kind of like a muffin or some kind of like a cookie or a cake or something. All that sugar in that dessert that you just ate for breakfast is gonna spike your blood sugar. Uh, spiking your blood sugar uh, has been heavily correlated to increased rates of anxiety because what happens is after your body is done metabolizing that sugar, it goes into a panic response because it's absorbed the sugar so fast and it's used that energy to make you anxious. 
that now it's running on empty reserves. And now there's like an emergency empty fuel tank Mm -hmm. in your body. But if you fill your body with like healthy food, you know, complex carbohydrates, healthy fats, protein, things like that, your body is not going to have the same biochemical response. And so personally, I think that anxiety can be divided and be looked at in two different ways. One of them is at a general level, your, your body, your mind, your soul is making you anxious because you're somebody who you are not. And so for me, I didn't live the life that I actually wanted to live. That's why I was anxious because I didn't know who I actually was. Mm -hmm. But the other side of the spectrum, the other 50% is your biochemistry. And so you could literally be working the best job, have the best relationships, have the best family, make a decent amount of money, have certainty uh, in your life, but you could still be anxious if you're eating, your diet is crap, you don't exercise, you barely sleep, you stay up all night hustling, that can equally create anxiety too. Wow. Thank you for sharing that detailed uh, anxiety and description, which I believe it's very eye-opening for the audience watching. Thank you for that, Mark. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of how to control anxiety, how to behave, what to eat healthy, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Mark.